My name is Paul Bredwell. I'm with the U.S. Poultry and Egg Association, and I'm in Gadsden, Alabama today visiting the Keystone Foods Processing Plant. We're here because th this plant has been nominated as a recipient of the 2011 Clean Water Award. So we're here visiting the plant and, and trying to find a bit more about it. Um, David, one thing we did find out about the plant was the design and operation is just a bit different than what we normally see. Can you give us some background on, on how you uh, constructed the plant? Yeah, I, I would say there's four things that are somewhat different than your average uh, food processing wastewater treatment plant. One is we employ a full day's worth of equalization to help us level out the loads through the weekend when we're not running. The second thing is we were required to do uh, nutrient removal. We put in an anoxic treatment zone where we're using some innovative uh, methodology to blend treated wastewater back into the raw stream to uh, help remove nitrogen um, species. Uh, the third thing that I would say is innovative is uh, because we're making use of anoxic treatment, our sludge is a little lighter than your typical aerobic sludge. We're using a DAF, a dissolved air flotation unit, to provide secondary clarification. It does a really good job with this fairly neutral, buoyant sludge and does so in a much smaller footprint than, say, a clarifier. The fourth and last thing that, that I think is different is we retain the services of the engineering firm O'Brien & Gear to uh, partner with us in the uh, construction and operation of this facility. It allows us to concentrate on the day-to-day -day activities of producing product and allows them to concentrate on what they're best at, which is the treatment of our wastewater. Fantastic. Well, David, uh, I know that I know the judging committee was impressed at, at the way ha that you set the anoxic zone up, so so I know we'd like to take a look at it. Do you mind if uh, we go and do that now? I'd be happy to, to assist. Um, let me introduce you to Steve Smith and let him give you that part of the tour. I'm here with Steve Smith, who is the operations supervisor for the wastewater treatment plant here at Keystone Foods. Steve, um, can you give us a little background on, on how the process works outside here? Yeah, this is our activated sludge basin here where we actually do our uh, biological treatment. Uh, we receive our flow into this initial basin here uh, from our primary treatment inside the building. The flow is uh, separated into two trains for uh, anoxic zones and aeration zones. Uh, we have the capability of treating water in, in both basins simultaneously or we can isolate one side and just treat in that side or the other. Both sides of the basin has the capability to fully treat uh, the water that we need to treat the Keystone food. And Steve, you, you have, you've got this thing set up so where you can actually recycle water back in from the aeration zones back into your anoxic basin to utilize that, that DO that you've got in that in that water. Can, can we go take a look at that as well? We sure can. I'll let uh, Frank DiOrio uh, show you that aspect. I'm here with Frank DiOrio, who is the technical director for O'Brien and Gear. And, and Frank, we were talking about your ability here at the wastewater treatment plant to, to recycle water from the aeration basin back into the anoxic zone. Can you kind of go through that, that process with us? Yeah, actually, what's, what's powerful about this treatment system is it takes the, uh, the aerobic uh, activated sludge process where we create a nitrate rich, or we convert all that ammonia that's coming into nitrates, and we move that in through into an anoxic zone where in the absence of oxygen in the presence of uh, excess VOD, both additional nitrogen is consumed as the nitrates are consumed, and of course the VOD is used and the VOD is consumed. So it becomes a very powerful and efficient engine, wastewater engine here, treating wastewater in a very small footprint. Well, Frank, we appreciate your time and, and uh, on behalf of the U.S. Poultry and I know the judging committee, uh, we wish you all the luck in the competition. Thank you very much.